Peter Obi comment. Deji Adeyanju, a liar, journalist present at the meeting. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Deji Adeyanju has come under fire from Nigerian journalist Ike Aboni for his remark regarding Peter Obi. The activist said on social media that he was no longer supporting the Labour Party LP nominee for president. Abba, he claimed in a statement on Tuesday that the justification that Dayanji provided was a falsehood. Uche Sekondo's spokesman expressed sadness about having disagreement with the body, but said that he cannot keep quiet and allow lies to flourish. Adeyanji tweeted that he had quit backing Ubi after learning that he later had his funds from Anambra State to invest in a family business. I was at the meeting they had with Ubi. I was there all through, and I left with him after almost three hours of candid talk, Aboni said in response. Obi was recounting his life experiences both inside and outside of government, none of which were novel because he had already made identical points in public. Did Deji and Obi reconnect? You are free to donate whoever you want without all without all these absurd blackmails, which astounded me. The former governor is not searching for a job from the old Progressive Congress presidential candidate Bola Tsunambu Aboy informed Adi Anju. Adi Anju is on record multiple times declaring Ubi to be the best candidate and had publicly encouraged Ubi to abandon the People's Democratic Party, the editor wrote. The social commentator is entitled to change his mind, but should not base that on what is not accurate, Aboy emphasized. According to Daily Post, yes, they say soldier go, soldier come, barracks, you know, they empty. Okay, you can decide to switch from one political person to another based on your p at this point. See, <laughs> anybody that is not shaken, anybody that is not shaken with what is happening in Nigeria today, <laughs> if nothing don't move you, eh, with all the whole threats about what has and the ambush that have been laid on uh, uh, President Bahari's convoy. If you are still living in the fool's paradise thinking all is well, <laughs> well, no problem. No problem at all. Because at this point, once you have reached the age of, as I want to say, 18, what you have gotten to 18 years, I want to believe that you now understand certain things concerning the country of residents. Yes, you now understand certain things. So if you're still waiting for someone to come and put feed you about who you should vote for, why you should vote for the person, for what reasons at this point. <laughs> Uncle, you're in a long thing, no? You're in a very long thing. It is crystal clear. So all this while, the 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 and you has been saying some things about B2B. I've, I've been telling you people. That the judge is actually a supporter of P2B. But it's just like, you know, his own way to success is not the route P2B is taking. He has suggested time without, and I can understand his point of view, he has suggested time without number. That look, if other smaller parties do not merge and become a big one, that they are all working for APC. Do you understand? APC is the running party. In order to bring them out, we have to have bigger parties. So he suggested that Labour Party, which P2B is a presidential candidate, merge together with YPP, with NNPP, with AAC. He keeps saying it all the time, that if these people are not going to merge, that means they are working for Tunbo. That is what he has been saying. That is why say, Obi, um, Adi Anju is a supporter of Obi, but he is a realist. He comes and tells you in reality what and what and what is going to play out. You understand? That is why sometimes it feels like, yeah, he's harsh. He's just stating the obvious. That is what he does. And now he's saying that he is going to quit because this is why we tell the people who. He said he's quitting because um, he, he realized we'll be used state funds to fund this family business. Okay. That is what he said. This is why we keep telling you that it is very important, it is necessary that you know your candidate antecedent and your candidate, both his, the one way good and bad, and both the one, both his manifesto, the one way good do, 
when he's saying go do, how did he say we go about it? You must know what your candidate has done in the past, his good works. You must even know because nobody says sent you will know the one way no good. There is no one that will tell me that in life you don't make mistakes, not to talk of those who are in leadership. They make mistakes. So you know the good, you know the bad, you know the ugly. So that when you know there is a a need for you to chip in something, a need for you to ah defend, you will def you will know the angle you're going to be coming from. If you know only the good one about him, uh, if they say bad things about him, you might not be able to handle it. So you know the good, you know the bad, you understand. So the JND and Joe said, you know they support will be again. Whoever he likes, let him give support. The thing is at the end of the day, me and you waiting for this country. Now the same thing now they find. You want to make Nigeria better. Me, I want to make Nigeria better. Nigerians want to make Nigeria better. Make we make sure say this Nigeria better. With everything that is playing out, although it is even seeming like 2023 election is even going to be a myth. With all the whole bus goes the terrorists. With the way that the presidency is giving the terrorists free hand. They are just giving them power over everything. Giving them, you know, free hand to operate on any level. Sincerely. But that does not withstand. That no withstanding all hope is not lost. They just a businessman and blackmail is one of his products. Um, well, I I I don't I, I don't think it is true, but <laughs> I don't think it is true, but this life now <laughs> I do leave space at the teluna. No matter how something is good, I do leave space for ah, this person feel fuck up. You understand? This person can mess it up. And no matter how bad something is, I still leave space for Something good can come out from Nazareth. Okay. Both Reno and Nadia are playing policies based on sentiment. Remember one of their candidates was allegedly to have drug-related case as reported by former Ambulian Van issue which is still unsettled. The other was indicted in cement scandal where some foreign counterparts were serving jail terms. Yet, you are making unfounded, unstantiated allegations on a candidate just to blackmail him. Well, at this point, eh, whatever we think, I think, no wahala. But me, I don't think oh, because I've, I know that she has been supporting um, B2B before. But whether he's doing it based on the more you look, because there are many people who will come out and say that this person they support. And on election day, <laughs> now that time will clear for your eyes, say they know the support. So you, that you know where you stand, you know where you're standing genuinely. Just make sure your purpose for standing or backing that particular candidate is that a candidate is credible enough, is competent enough, and is capable of taking Nigeria from its lots groovy and restore Nigeria, you know, and take Nigeria to the path or through the path of restoration. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. And until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.